Ah, the movie tie-in. Gamers dread its appearance for much the same reason that comic fans dread the movie conversion. Especially when there's an outside chance that things might actually come together, so you have to give it a chance. Thor was a decent film, definitely worth seeing if you're after an action blockbuster. However, the same can't be said of the App Store title, Son of Asgard by Marvel Entertainment. Despite sporting the visual style of the film, the story is set apart, and possibly sometime after the events of the movie, so those worried about spoilers can unplug their ears now. As to be expected of a Thor-based game, enemies are dealt with by the dozen, by the somewhat final solution that is Mjolnir, his trusty hammer. The 3D beat em up gameplay is fairly simple, with a virtual stick to move around the screen, and several buttons to attack and block, though calling the controls smooth would be saying a bit too much. Many of the game's enemies practically lay themselves out at the feet of Thor while hardly making a scratch on the mighty Asgardian, making many of the combination attacks that are available practically redundant for all but the most utilitarian of purposes. This would be less of a concern if the combat itself actually embraced its fantastic origins by providing something truly visceral. However, enemies and Thor alike hardly register when attacks connect, making the combat itself a farce of mashing buttons until people fall over and disappear. Son of Asgard does an admirable job of drawing from the rich canon available to the Thor universe, plunging players into many of the worlds only hinted at by the film. But its visual richness and variety does nothing to obscure the bland gameplay at the core of this title. With so many brawlers to choose from on the App Store, it's hard to recommend this game. But if you enjoy the Thor franchise, there might be enough here to sustain you. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.